mean, uh, we did see another big move, a tight end moving yeah. teams. TJ Hawkinson leaving the Detroit Lions, getting traded to the Minnesota Vikings. So, JJ, how do you see this target share breaking down in Detroit now with one of their main targets leaving? Yeah, so they have Mitchell and, and Brock Wright as their tight ends who are going to be elevated. You know, Wright's been the one, I think Brock Wright is who it is. Uh, he's been the one who has seen any routes basically this season. Um, so, you know, I, I think that he's probably like the immediate guy who would benefit, see the biggest jump because he's going from nothing to something. With that being said, I think that the biggest winner is probably Amon Ross St. Brown. I mean, he Amon Ross St. Brown plays a slot. Hawkinson obviously lines up there. Uh, we've seen ARSB just get peppered with looks uh, especially without TJ Hawkinson, like we saw last year. Uh, but he's still getting peppered with looks even this year in, in games where he's been healthy. So uh, I think that, that Amon Ross St. Brown has a chance to be in that like 28 to 30% target share per game range for, for the rest of the season. And if we see that, then we have a chance to see some fireworks down the stretch. I mean, it's a very, very big win for him in particular. And then, you know, Hawkinson going to, to uh, Minnesota, they haven't targeted their tight ends at a really, really high rate, but targets go towards talent, right? Um, so TJ Hawkinson is an upgrade over Irv Smith, who they seem to not like that much even before this injury happened to Irv Smith. Um, so I, I do think that Hawkinson, uh, you know, will probably still command like an 18, 20% target share. Justin Jefferson probably remains the same. And maybe this hurts Adam Thielen a little bit from a target share standpoint, um, but it's probably a more, more neutral for all those guys. Uh, and maybe a little bit of a boost for TJ Hawkinson, just given the offense that he's moving to uh, should be a little bit more efficient. So Amon Ross St. Brown, a big, big bump for him, I think. And TJ Hawkinson, I think it's a, a pretty good landing spot overall for him. That was going to be my question. Is this a is this a bump up for TJ Hawkinson or is he going down a little bit lower because maybe yeah. there's more talent on the field around him as well?